So it's actually time now to get into Dreamcast games that I have an actual copy of after the video where I played Soul Calibur that actually turned out to be Shenmue 2 because it didn't have anything written on the disc when I was working under assumptions. Um, Fighting Force 2, now if you don't know about the original Fighting Force, it's produced or developed by a core designer who used to be here in Derby. And um, yes, the original Fighting Force was originally, um, oh, we turned it off, we need it on, it was originally intended to be a sequel to Streets of Rage, a 3D um, Streets of Rage game and for the Dreamcast and um, Sega scrapped it, probably a good thing um, because it wouldn't have lived up to uh, Streets of Rage anyway, you know what I mean. But we'll jump in. Um, 1999 is the year of this game's release. Release, not released. And, um, yeah, it's a 3D uh, beat em up, as you'd expect with it, with the first game being uh, originally intended as a Streets of Rage sequel. It's a game I've put on before, but I've never really played much of it. Um, core fucking hyping themselves up. Fuck's sake, let me skip that shit! Um, yeah, Core obviously of uh, Tomb Raider fame. And the world is controlled by the trans global corporations of the late Why can't century. I skip this? These days, seems everything has its price, even the law. Shut up. So we've this is the rule of the side game ops, in and covert operation teams who operate outside. The controller is actually working because uh, because sometimes it's got the VMU display. I'm gonna plug it though and plug it back in. Let's see if that makes any difference. So I can't see why I should be watching Psychops a uh, the Nakamichi Corporation. These boys just stepped over the line. They're crowded like this. Illegal bioweapon program. So we'll Genetic fucking just sit back and DNA. watch this fucking crap. You got enough on Nakamichi to justify a raid. And that's where I come in. Psychops, Agent Manson. Hawk Manson. Like other agents, I'm packing the usual body enhancements. And enough firepower to take out a city. Anything to give me the edge. <laughs> Yeah, I got steroids and shit, man. Got a nice titty plate. It's an invisible war we're fighting. And if you get caught, no one will ever know. But I ain't got no problem with that. The Psycops Directive is my kind of ride. Oh, shit, it's fucking a 3D beat em up, not fucking Splinter Cell. How can it be a fucking invisible war that you're fucking fighting? Jesus Christ, you're the worst beat him up ever, you just walk around. Um, it says press start button, but it's not fucking doing anything. Why? Why are you not working? Let's try taking the VMUs out, so it must be a problem with the fucking controller. Take out my nice VMUs. Sexy. And, yeah. Strange. Is that. Is that starting or. Ah, oh, so. Hold on. No. It's not starting. One of these, um Dreamcast when I actually bought it. Um, the guy I bought it off when he listed it on eBay he said something about one of the fucking systems having a controller port that didn't work, but it's always been fine. So I don't know if there's it's like a, an intermittent problem. I mean, obviously I played Shenmue 2. Um, and yeah, I would have had to select the fucking 
Language. Why is the controller suddenly decided it's not going to work? That's fucking ridiculous. Damn you back in. Let's see if the shit loads up. So there's power going to the controller. BMU you beeped. It's all shits and fucking giggles on my channel. You knows it, baby. Alright, so the controller's working there. We've established that. Alright. Oh, and now we can skip. So, what the fuck was going on there? I do not know. I don't know whether it's an intermittent controller port problem, but fuck it, we're in now. Have we got normal mode? What? Expert or normal mode? Can't we have retard mode? Because that's what I want to play. Oh yeah. So we select the VMU. Nice things these VMUs. So, blah blah blah. Yeah, this is the problem with, um, you know, kind of retro gaming is you never know what problems you're going to encounter. Um, so, initial impressions are that the controls are shit. Kind of, if you, you're running round and then if you go to try and run to the right too harshly, it does that kind of sidestep thing. Um, what do we do? Punch it. No. But, oh, maybe punch it, maybe not, I don't know. Um, so we're going around hitting bad guys. Not very satisfying combat. Um, graphics are okay. Nothing spectacular. The sound um, effects aren't amazing. Oh, it'd be, oh, could why would I need to do that? You know, beat them up. It's kind of like I just took the controls from Tomb Raider, put them in a fighting game. Um, so it doesn't look like there's anything to do there. Do I'm not a fan of um, the. Dreamcast analog stick, it must be said. It's a great system, but the analog stick on the. <laughs> yeah, you can beat me while I'm using my shitty Tomb Raider controls. Um, yeah, the analog stick's not very nice, there's too much throw on it. I don't know whether it's in a bit of an awkward position being it sort of towards the top of the controller as well. Um, so we can jump. Not surprising given the shitty uh, Tomb Raider controls. Perhaps not the sort of thing you'd expect to be doing in a 3D fighting game, um, jumping on boxes and all that stuff. So he had a key card. And we can go through another door. Yeah. Uh, okay. Go through here. Oh, there's a dude there. Wow, look. He's not seen me. Fuck his ass up. But I've got a knife. Stab him. Yeah. Slash that motherfucker. Ooh. Come on then, pussies. <coughs> There's some kind of background <coughs> noise, um, but it's not. You know, I, th I think the game could really have done with some music. But overall, I'm really glad that the uh, scrapped the idea of these games being sequels to Streets of Rage because does this look like Streets of Rage? No. Oh God! You just ruin one of the uh, the greatest video game series in time ever. Just ruin it. Beautiful. 
So just going around this fucking futuristic fucking warehouse <coughs> with trying to beat people up that take a couple of hits to die, finding key cards and it's not a very nice game. Can't imagine it's the uh, the hardest game to complete. Oh, I imagine it is actually because I'm fucking these dodgy Tomb Raider fucking die hard arcade fucking dodgy hybrid fucking controls I feel suicidal by the end of this game I can't imagine uh, putting 10 hours for instance into this game Not enough. Um, the thing is with my videos is that the point I try to make in my videos is a game should grab you within the first 10-15 minutes of gameplay and make you want to play it and this doesn't do that far from it, it makes me want to throw the fucking controller at the screen um, I can see why there's no current gen um, fighting force games uh, because of a complete pile of aids, clearly. Um, I imagine that the original um, Fighting Force on the PlayStation, I imagine that's, you know, more fun than this. Um, well, I, I've never played it, so don't hold me to that. Not sure whether I've played a, a version of this on the Saturn on an emulator or something like that. No, no, I've played Fighting Force 64, I think, I think. Yeah, I think that was, yeah, I think the first game is actually better than this. So, if you like what you see on the screen, then you're probably insane or completely, a completely dull person. Um, so this is dire. Um, well, I think you can pick it up uh, cheap enough. Blown up. That mean I can go through that door. No. So yeah, beating people up really badly, and then not badly in a good way. Just bad gameplay. Running around bland environments with bland sound design. Trying to get key cards. I mean, fucking key cards. Oh. Yeah, it's just not good. I won't be playing this one again. I don't think. Put it on the shelf.